Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So after a lot of requests, I'm finally going to do this video and we are going to learn how to manual drive. Now let's dive into the video. I have gathered some tips for the beginners and classified them into a formula of three C's. Commitment, Consistency and Coordination First and foremost step in learning manual drive is to commit to it fully and forever. Turn off touch drive and never turn it back on. You will lose a lot of races before you start to getting hold of it. Once you have taken the first step, the next thing is finding the suitable control for you and the steering sensitivity to play with. You have 4 manual modes in the game and I suggest that you explore every one of them before you adopt one. This is important because you will have more chances of becoming a pro player using the mode that is more adoptable for you. So first we have the tap to steer mode where steering will be happening by tapping left and right side of the screen. You can customize the size and placement of the nitro and brake buttons and sensitivity of the steering that will determine how much a car will steer on each tap. Second mode is tail to steer where the steering will be happening with the movement of your device. It is more recommended because uh, we have more top players of the game using this mode. Hence you will find more opportunities to get guidance and learn it better. You can also use gamepad on PC and on mobile devices as well. However, it is not recommended much on mobile devices because of the input lag. Finally, you have the keyboard if that's something you can get comfortable with. Now let's address the most pertinent and repeated query about manual drive. How to set the right steering sensitivity. Steering sensitivity can vary from person to person and device to device as well. So you have to find the sweet spot for yourself. You can set it to the highest and go lower or you can set it to default 50% and go higher to see how much you can control. Moving on to the most important part of learning manual drive that is consistency and patience. In the beginning, you will be crashing a lot, hitting walls, losing races, but you have to keep your frustration and disappointment in check and keep going at it. Keep playing your regular game and train on the side as well. For training, you can use the carrier mode, use slow cars with good handling on straight and wide maps so you can get hold of the steering, nitro usage and braking etc. Now let me give you a fast track that helped me a lot. The best way to learn is to copy what the best people are doing. Paying attention when try to replicate things that really helps. Another important factor in the learning process is coordination and consultation. You can discuss with your teammates, you can take guidance from the pro players or you can talk to any player who is better than you. Because talking to them will give you something new to learn every time. In that regard, socializing in the Asphalt 9 communities is a good idea. Discord and Facebook is a good place to do that. You will always find someone who is willing to help. Record your laps and don't be shy of being criticized. Show your mistakes so you can get them eliminated quickly. Please subscribe to the channel for more videos and updates. If you have any questions, ask me in the comments section. You can also reach me directly on Discord or Instagram.